Hello, this is Victor, Customer Experience and Product Specialist for QuickBooks Online. And in this video, I wanted to take you on a quick tour of our new custom form styles launching in early April for QuickBooks Online in Australia. So before I show you the new experience, let's take a really quick tour of the current state of custom form styles in QuickBooks Online. So in the custom form styles menu at the moment, there's a style section, which is where you select the template that you would like to use. Appearance, which controls logo as well as page margins. The header section, which is what controls the information that displays at the top of your uh, custom form style, be that a estimate or an invoice. The activity table, which determines the, the uh, data that shows in the middle of your sales form. And then the footer, which controls what is at the bottom. In the new custom form styles experience, the first thing you'll notice is that instead of the menu being along the left-hand side, we now have four designations at the top, design, content, emails, and payments. The design tab is where we combined a lot of the look and feel aspects of the new custom form styles. Here you can select the template that you wish to use, make changes to your logo, including selecting the color of, uh, on, on your logo itself so that the colors on the invoice match. You can change the color to a different one if you would like, adjust your font, and adjust your margins. You'll notice that any changes that we make to the form style automatically change on the right-hand side it's a live preview, and we think that this is really exciting. The content section is formerly where you would adjust the header, activity table, and footer areas of your sales form. Simply click on the portion of the sales form that you wish to adjust, and along the left-hand side, you'll see the same options in the current custom form styles. This is the activity table section. You can change the order by dragging and dropping the items, and you'll see, again, it changes in a live preview. In the footer, you'll see now where you can choose whether or not you want to control if your discount or deposit details will display. And then the, the message to customer section and the default footer. The emails tab is new. This allows you to see the email that is sent to customers when an invoice is emailed from QuickBooks Online. This is something that we've never been able to show inside QBO, so we're really excited that you can see what this looks like for when you send it to your customers. The invoice, quote, and sales receipt, default messaging can all be changed here, as well as the content of the reminder email. Now in this new uh, custom form styles, the one thing I will point out is that um, this is really meant to cover the content or the way that it looks. For particular settings related to the, de the default CC or BCC or other additional settings that already exist, you'll need to continue to adjust that in company settings going forward. The final section is the payment section. Here is where you can select if you would like to get paid with PayPal and go through that login flow, as well as see the electronic invoice that is displayed to a customer after they select the Pay Invoice button from the email that they receive. We're really excited about this new experience, and we're always eager to hear about your feedback. After we roll it out, please feel free to give it a whirl, and if you have any suggestions or want to let us know about something, please go to feedback.qbo.intuit.com, or the next time you contact customer care, let the agent know that you have some feedback you would like to share.